Navigation lights are a critical part of obeying the steering and sailing rules, especially at night. And if you've ever passed close by a vessel operating without lights, I'm sure you have no doubt gained some appreciation for them. Part C of the rules defines several types of navigation lights, uh, specifies the minimum ranges and gives the combination of lights that identify each vessel by size, type, function, and activity. Annex 1 to the rules provides technical details of performance and positioning that are essential for the manufacturers of navigation lights, but it is uh, not so useful for you guys who, who are mariners. Uh, shapes also convey information about a vessel, its situation or its activity that would not be obvious even by day. And the technical details on shapes as well are provided in Annex 1. Now we are going to focus on Part C, which begins with rule number 20, that is application. And Part C contains rules 20 all the way to rules 31. Rule 20 tells when lights and shapes must be displayed. Rule 21 will contain the definition and description of navigation lights. I have made a video on that separately and attached it. I'll give you the link to that video as well with this. And I'll also make videos on rule number 22 and 23 and then the rest of the rules as the time progresses. So let's get started with rule number 20. Uh, that uh, and we'll start with part A. The rules. So part A of the rule says the rules in this part shall be compliant with in all weathers. Basically, this paragraph assures us that bad weather is not an excuse for not displaying the required navigation lights, uh, especially in today's era, in the era of electric navigation lights. And this perhaps is directed at those vessels still using uh, maybe oil based lights or wicks like must be smaller vessels, but it also applies to those operators who would prefer to wait for a nice day to change a burned out electric uh, Part B begins by saying that uh, navigation lights are to be displayed between sunset and sunrise. sunrise. This part of the paragraph is generally adhered to, but the rest is often ignored. When your navigation lights are on, the display of other colored or bright white lights may be mistaken for navigation lights. This may impair the visibility or character of the navigation lights, or it may interfere with the lookout as well. Such displays will put you in violation of the navigation rules and it can often even lead to an incident or an accident with another vessel. Part C. Navigation lights must be turned on when you are operating in restricted visibility unless your vessel is used only during the day and does not have navigation lights. Navigation lights may be displayed at other times at the option of the officer on watch. Shapes are displayed during the day, that is from sunrise to sunset, because the transition from light to dark and back again is gradual. It is a good idea to display both lights and shapes at dawn and dusk. Finally, paragraph E contains the formal reference in the rules to Annex 1, which is the technical requirements for lights and shapes. And uh, if you are going for orals, you are advised to read the Annex at least once to just gather an idea of the requirements of uh, all designers and manufacturers are supposed to be meeting. But uh, nobody will ask you questions from Annex 1. Hopefully nobody will ask you questions when you go for a examination. All right, so this was a pretty straightforward rule. I try to keep these explanations uh, very short so that you can just uh, listen to it and quickly get an idea of what the rule is all about. Um, we'll focus on rule 22 next. Uh, hopefully uh, that will give you an idea about the visibility of lights. Thanks guys. See you.